Hi. Let's learn about the adjusted present value, APV. The adjusted present value represents the net present value of a project or company if it is financed solely by equity plus the present value, PV, of any financing benefits, which are the additional effects of debt. By taking into account financing benefits, APV includes tax shields such as those provided by deductible interest. The formula for APV is, adjusted present value equals unlevered firm value plus NE, where NE represents the net effect of debt. The net effect of debt includes tax benefits that are created and the interest on a company's debt is tax deductible. This benefit is calculated as the interest expense times the tax rate. The present value of the interest tax shield is calculated as slash interest rate. An investor can use Excel to build out a model to calculate the net present value of the firm and the present value of the debt. The adjusted present value helps an investor understand the benefits of tax shields resulting from tax-deductible interest payments or a subsidized loan at below market rates. For leverage transactions, APV is preferred. It can show that the value of a debt-financed project can be higher than just an equity-financed project, as the cost of capital falls when leverage is used. Using debt can turn a negative NPV project into a positive one. NPV uses the weighted average cost of capital as the discount rate, while APV uses the cost of equity as the discount rate. In a financial projection example, the sum of the present value of the interest tax shield is added to the base case NPV to obtain the adjusted present value. For instance, a multi-year projection calculation finds that the present value of a company's free cash flow plus terminal value is $100,000. With a 30% tax rate and 7% interest rate, a $50,000 debt load would have an interest tax shield of $15,000. This would result in an adjusted present value of $115,000, or $100,000 plus $15,000. The adjusted present value method is similar to the discounted cash flow methodology but does not capture taxes or other financing effects in a weighted average cost of capital, WACC, or other adjusted discount rates. Unlike WACC, adjusted present cash flow seeks to value the effects of the cost of equity and cost of debt separately. The adjusted present value isn't as prevalent as the discounted cash flow method. In practice, the adjusted present value is not used as much as the discounted cash flow method. It is more of an academic calculation but is often considered to result in more accurate valuations. Here are three key takeaways. 1. APV is the NPV of a project or company if financed solely by equity plus the present value of financing benefits. 2. APV shows an investor the benefit of tax shields from tax-deductible interest payments. 3. It is best used for leverage transactions, such as leveraged buyouts, but is more of an academic calculation. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.